Hey guys, welcome back. So, I just did a video. I wanted to do like a little thing before I get into the video. Today is July 31st, 2020, okay? I want to make that clear because this will upload to YouTube. I am going to put it in to upload on Sunday at midnight Eastern time on August 2nd. The reason why I'm doing that is because I have a chaotic story time that's uploading at midnight Saturday morning. Please note all times are Eastern. And, you know, I want to do it that way. So, I live in an area where there's all sorts of strange things. And there is a place it's not too far from me. It's um, Del Haas Woods. It's in, it's in Bristol, Pennsylvania. And it's part of Silver Lake Park which is a county park in Bristol and there is ruins in the park. I think there may be, I don't know if there's anything in Silver Lake aside from the nature stuff and I did do a Silver Lake video like about, I'm going to say, I'm going to say like about a month or so ago. So you feel free to check that out. And the thing that I wanted to do with this one is Del Haas Woods has a very unique thing and it's and it's these ruins and they're two large warehouse size ruins. I was able to find one and I found a smaller one today. And you know, the ruins are basically from the World War II era. You know, the Philadelphia area during World War II was pretty prominent. I actually talk about it in the video where they did a lot of stuff for the war effort, like a lot of major cities did. There were actually a lot of shipbuilding places, places that built airplanes. The Del Haas Woods ruins were basically munitions warehouses. Also, my father did mention something to me because he grew up in this area that they probably did some training of troops there because he said something about a paratrooper tower, which I have not been able to find yet. I know there are a couple of other ones because, um, Randall, I know, um, the guys over at Random Outdoor Fun, they have some in the video. And their video, I'm looking at it right now, was uploaded a year ago. They have some that are a little different from what I found. Also, I know, um, the, I know the website that I was reading about it on, which is the official Bucks County Tourism site. They have photos of of one in particular that I don't really know if I've seen this one or not. I do eventually want to get back out there and do another video. It's been kind of tough because it's been very hot, humid, muggy. I know today was actually a more easier break in the weather because, because we had a bit of a rainstorm that kind of cooled things off a little. So it was a perfect day. And, you know, so I, I want to go back and do another video, which I hope to do soon. Um, now, the video, the article I'm reading, it's saying about how nature kind of reclaimed the ruins and everything. And they say there is one caveat, which is, even though it is on park property, if you go, don't try and walk on them because, like I said, nature has taken over. We're talking about 70 plus years of decay. So, yeah, I'm going to go straight down. And the two nearest trauma centers to Del Haas Woods are 
about a 10 to 15 minute drive depending on the speed of the ambulance guy. I will tell you that right now because um, there is a hospital not too far from there, but they are not really equipped for major emergencies like traumas. The two closest that are equipped for trauma is Aria Tarsdale, which is now Jefferson Tarsdale in Northeast Philadelphia and St. Mary Medical Center in Langhorne, which is anywhere from like 10, 15 minute drive at the least. And that's if the traffic's good and the person who's driving is pretty well versed and knows how to get there without hitting major traffic. So I'm going to put a link to all these, to these two things because, um, you know, I was very excited about this. In fact, if you saw my Instagram or my Facebook live for the channel, you know, I was very excited. And so I'm going to put a link to, to random outdoor funds video. I'm going to put a link to the visit Bucks County article because that has some very interesting things about it. And yeah, just feel free to like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell because I am going to try and update more. Like I said, I have a chaotic story time that I'm, that I have premiering at midnight Eastern time Saturday. I am working on a series with that regarding mental health. And I also want to do some more things. So we'll see what happens. So yeah, feel free and enjoy the video, DFTBA. Okay, everybody, welcome to the channel. So this is a video that was a long time in the making. I tried to do this video in May and it didn't come out too well. Tried this video in June and I got a little exhausted. So here it is, July 31st, 2020. I am trying it again. This is my exploration through Delhaas Woods. Now I was very lucky in the sense that I was able to pick up a trail map from the Nature Center across the street because this is a part of Silver Lake Park. Um, I do have a Silver Lake video that I did. I'm probably going to do a part two on that. And, you know, links in the description. So, this is part two. This is a continuation, I guess you could say. Um, and I am in here because it's very interesting, very densely wooded. It's actually, the ground's a little soft right now because it just rained this morning. And, you know, it's... The interesting thing is they say Delhaas Woods has some pretty interesting secrets regarding the World War II era. So we're going to see what this bad boy has. I will probably be uploading this over the weekend. I know August 1st at midnight I have the first installment in Chaotic Storytime's mental health series. And it's going to be in a little thing where I'm going to be talking about why I'm doing this series. It was actually inspired by an interview with Robert Pattinson, which I will talk about more in detail in the video. It'll premiere midnight Eastern time, August 1st. So yeah, check that out on YouTube. Also click the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, you'll get all the updates. Um, follow me on Instagram at Life of Marie 2020. I do post things on there a lot. I do have a Facebook page. 
which I will put a link to in the description. And yeah, so let's see what Del Haas Woods so this has is a, to offer. This is a little brochure I got. If you go over to Silver Lake Nature Center, which is they call it the visitor center now, but when I was here many years ago, they called they called it the nature center. There's the hours. It's actually right on Bath Road in Bristol. They have these little maps where you can see like the trails around the visitor center. And then on the back is where we are going today, which is the Del Haas Woods Trails. Now, this is about I about roughly over a mile and a half of trails. I in my Silver Lake video, I do have the thing from all trails about it. So please do check that out. Um, and the area it's in, as you can see, there is some residential nearby, and there is a lot of woods. This is actually um, part of a nature preservation project that Bucks County does. In fact, beauty about where I live, because I live about, I'm going to say a half hour from Philadelphia, is we have a lot of gorgeous state and county parks. Some of them are in settings that you would not believe, like this one. Oh gosh, look at that. You can actually see a lot more majestic here. Because um, when I was here trying to do this in May, it was not as lush and green. We've had a few rainstorms in the greater Philadelphia area, so that's why it is this gorgeous. There are roots in the system. My camera shut off, actually. And I have my trusty little walking stick with me. And, you know, this is um, Trailblazer's walking sticks. I picked it up at Walmart for like 20 bucks. So, like I said in my Silver Lake video, you know, you could try Amazon, REI, or you might get lucky with your local Walmart. So, yeah, it's a lot of, looks a lot greener, a lot cleaner. It's gorgeous out here. But like I said, be careful when, when you're walking these trails because a lot of them do have these roots in the ground. So, like, you can see one right here. Whoops. Please excuse that, the strap on my camera. I'm actually doing this handheld. And then, see so you can see like big roots right here. And, you know, so be careful with that. Also, some of these trails, the, the terrain is a little rough because it's basically dirt. I mean, here, um, Silver Lake, their trails is a combination of dirt and, in some places, boardwalk. So, yeah, be, be careful. And let's see where else this lovely place takes us. One day I was in here and I saw a deer. So yeah, you see all sorts of nature around here. Over at the park, there are some parts of the park where you'll see geese. One day I'm gonna do a video 
do another Silver Lake video. So maybe I'll catch some geese. <laughs> but yeah, this is gorgeous around here. Now, interesting thing is in Bucks County during the World War II era, there were actually little facilities and things like that that were used by the military. My, my father told me about a few of them. Also, I knew because in Bristol, right along the Delaware River, there used to be a shipbuilding factory. My grandmother worked there during World War II. She was a Rosie, which I think is very interesting because fast forward to 2016, I met a real life Rosie. And, you know, I got very interested because of that. I should probably tell you guys the story sometime in a chaotic story time. But yeah, you can see there's like a lot of different things here. Little interesting thing, when I was hiking in here before, right where that hill is back that way, that is used a lot by off-roaders. Yeah, you, I mean, you do get some people that ride ATVs around here. They really shouldn't, but they do. So, got to be very careful with that. Ground's very muddy today. And a lot of that's because it, it did rain last night into this morning. It's, right now, it's a little humid, but it's not overly hot. So that's why I was able to do this today. I wanted to do this before, and sadly, I couldn't because it was just too damn you can see like more little things I don't know if some of these hills were here to begin with or if they were a part of the whole thing for the World War II trainings because I heard they did like some trainings on paratroopers around here but it is very gorgeous here Oh, what's this? I have never seen this before. Looks like somebody went to make like a little fire pit or something around here. Wow, man. Let me take a look. Yeah, it looks, looks like they have like a little bench. It's a little pit for the, for the fire. All sorts of little garbage. I don't know. I know. I know there was stories about homeless people that would live in the woods here. I actually knew a guy who did for a while. I don't think it was these woods, but I know he lived in the woods around here. So, I don't know, but that's kind of intriguing. coming up on a clearing so hopefully I can figure out which way to go from here because I do kind of want to see if I can find some of these ruins oh my gosh there's a clearing right here okay I think I'm going to take a water break and then I will see Touch where to go. Mama, I found it. This is one of them. Now I gotta be very careful because the guides I have read online, I'm gonna try to see if I can find some articles about it, put it in the description, do say that there are some, some like munitions and everything still left over. Let me look in here. Whoa! Wow! Oh my god! Look at that! 
Holy shit! I was just walking. This is where the trail comes in, and I saw that, and I remember it from a video I saw a few years ago, which I'm gonna try and find and put in the description as well. I remember that. I was like, oh my God. But look at that. My God. What the hell? That goes pretty far. This must be a pipe from something. I don't know what. I don't know if it's like, it's too new to be a part of that building, but oh my God, I can't believe I found it. I have been looking ever since I heard about this. I saw it on a YouTube video and I asked my dad, because my dad grew up in Bucks County. I said to him, hey dad, is this true? And he said it was. My God, I came across it. So I got kind of interrupted, sorry about that, because my nephew called me. Look at this, oh my God. I can't believe I found it. I'm gonna do this very carefully. You can see somebody tried to come up here because you can see these little steps. And this is obviously concrete from the ruins. Because um, what happened was, from what I heard in World War II, the army used this as like an operations for training and storing munitions and they they just left it. That must that must be an old munitions building. My gosh. Now I'm trying to be as careful as possible since this is all rugged trails. But oh my god. Wish I had a flashlight, or my nephew, because <laughs> I could have had him use my other camera to go into here, because he's more adventurous than me. But look at this. Holy shit. And And here is more of it. Um, I might, whoa, <laughs> that was cool, was butterfly. But let me see something here because I do have my cell phone. So I might be able to use my camera on my phone. Let's see. It's not very bright, but she will do. But look at that. Oh my God. This is Urbex jackpot, ladies and gents. Wow. God, guys, you don't know how excited I am. I am so damn excited. I am so stoked. I cannot believe this. I need to check something. Look at this. That's how excited I am. It's like, wow, you don't know how long I have wanted to see this. Oh. oh my God. Wish I can get closer to this one, but I don't think the train is going to allow me. But, oh shit. Oh God, that was so exciting. And on top of that, I just saw a couple of deer along the trail here. Oh, this is just so cool. I am like so thrilled. I mean, 
you don't know how thrilled I am about that. And of course I have a tree to go through, so but you're scurrying manage. and look, you can see little pieces of the concrete from other buildings. So what happened was nature pretty much reclaimed. So yeah, I know there's something else around here I'm trying to find. So hopefully I can find it. But I will see as I walk down this trail. <laughs> What the hell is this over here? Whatever it is, it's gorgeous. I think I'm coming up right behind some construction or something, but we'll see. Got vines stuck between me. But, oh my God, I'm so thrilled that I found that. I mean, yeah, this must be, um, that must be uh, Bucks County Community College over there. So, but yeah, oh, this is nice. Little kiosk type building. Yeah, this is where Bucks County Community College is. Because that must be that pond they were saying about. And then right around here. The one thing I haven't been able to find though is my dad did say about a paratrooper type thing. Is that Bucks? I don't know. I'm looking off to my right. I'm trying to figure out if that's the lower Bucks campus. Of, yes, it is. It's the Bristol campus of Bucks County Community College. But I am so. Oh, this is so incredible. I mean, uh, I don't know how thrilled I am. See if I can get over these little vines and everything. But whoa, that is one impressive pond. This guy doing fishing down there. But whoa. <laughs> this is awesome. One day I might have to look for more. I know there are probably a couple more around here. And I know I want to explore more of the park itself. So, yeah, jackpot. <laughs> so, I'm gonna wrap things up so please feel free to like subscribe click the notification bell I mean it's exciting and until then don't forget to be awesome everyone bye